Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a house using the Cannibal Watchtowers. And it is very cheap. And the benefit of it, they can't destroy it. So let's go. First, you want to use rock pillars. Always with the rock pillars. And you want to place them at the top of the tower. Just a single one only. It's really hard to see because of the time of day. Okay, that one's done. And climb to the top. Complete that. You do not need mods to do this. I am not using mods. Though, this is the easy part. The next part gets much more difficult. You want to build another rock pillar at the top of this one here. And then complete that. Once that's done, you want to get a custom foundation out. Now you can't align it up there too well, so what I'm going to do is use this. Okay, now that looks like it's just on the top. That's what I want. And then you run it over to the other. You're not completing this, you're just using it as a guide. Custom foundations are make awesome guides. So try and place it over the top of where you want it. Now this design, I just use a triangle because I think a square would look kind of funny. You could use a square, you just have to build another pillar. Multiple pillars, if you will. Now what I'm going is that that's about seven across, I'm going to try and go for the middle. And then if you've seen that snapped into place, I'm going to do it again. And hopefully this aligns. Doesn't matter, you're not completing it, it's just as a guy. Oh, perfect, look at that. Now you're gonna need a houseboat for this. The problem is, and I'll show you what happens. See, like custom thing, you can't go any higher. The other problem is platforms only go that high unless you're standing on a boat. And if you're standing on the, like a houseboat, it doesn't go quite high enough. And you just start to run out of options. So you can do a crane, but it's very tricky. Like you can, you make it go up, you go up there and try and align it as much as you can. Well, it's really hard. I tried it and I don't recommend it. If you've got mods, it's actually a good idea. But we're just going to do a rock pillar. Now you can just do a single if you want. Like that and go all the way up. That will be much cheaper. But if you want something that looks a bit more sturdy, so what I do is that I'll try and get it in the middle. And I go for like a triangle system here. So that's four on each side. That's pretty good. Now I'm playing on creative so I won't drown. But that was awfully close. And then you just keep repeating the same process. And you just keep stacking them up. Now as you start going high, you're going to start running into issues. So I recommend the houseboat. And the houseboat isn't really a bad idea. You can't really use it in the sleg. I don't know. You can use it for other, for building things later on if you wanted to extend on. So once that's done, you can keep placing more. Where's the rocks? Give me the rocks. Now I'm starting to get into an area where I'm going to need to jump up on top of the houseboat. If you don't know, one of the easiest ways to get up is just to have a water collector here or two. Just like that. That's how I build my houseboats. And it gives you a nice little step ladder. And keep going. Obviously, if you've got to collect the rocks yourself, it's going to take a lot longer. And I would probably go one more. And there we go. So the next part is a little bit tricky, but doable. Just, it's just tedious the way it is. Now I'm not going to be able to put it in custom mode from down here. I'll have to go up, I believe. Yeah, I'm going to have to go up the rope.
Oh, there we go. See, this is the problem with it. It's this little tight little spot. You just got to find it. And it's a pain. Good thing there's no crocodiles in here. Yep, there we go. Honestly, this is the hardest part on that. <laughs> oh, it's probably not. If you built with a platform or something else, then yeah, that's probably harder. And jump up. And because it snaps into place, you can follow it along. And done. We cancel this, so we can find the cancel button. Now I'm making this look a lot easier because it took me five times to get this right. So that's 38 logs, and that's perfect. It's too difficult without the houseboat I've tried. Now if you can't reach it, which you can from here, what you can do and what you will probably be doing is using it from a, a, a log holder, because you've got to bring your logs over. If you're doing this properly, not in creative mode, and you just jump up on that. So you just like grab your log, jump up, grab your log, jump up, and you're done. Uh, and that's it. Now you've got all that space underneath. It's up to you what you do. You could put a crane on it now um, to get the logs up, because you'll need a way, but honestly, you could. there's so many trees up there. You just build a zip line up there and bring it down here. We're not doing that because I am playing creative, so I'm just going to wall it off. Uh, so, like, you clear a section of the wall, say, here, and build a zip line up there. And if you wanted to escape route, you could have one down there. But what I do, and it's up to you how you do yours, this is how I do mine. I'd cancel these walls parts here, and I'd get the custom wall out again. And bring this across. And I'll put a nice little door there. And the same here. Another nice little door. There we go. And now the situation is obviously the roof. And you want some windows. Chuck a couple there. 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 Yeah, you reckon those need windows? Yeah, why not? Let's just do it. And yes, we'll complete these walls. And there we go. That's a big open area. Now it's up to you if you go two stories or not. Obviously that's completely up to you. Uh, if you want this to be your permanent household, I probably would go multiple stories because this area isn't quite big enough for a big base but as a starting base this would be great i mean you've seen how many logs this cost me it was bugger all and yeah but for the meantime we're just going to throw a normal roof on and because of the way i've built it this is going to happen the roof's going to come out here and you don't want to put a pillar you don't have to put a pillar here but it might block your way from getting in and out and if you don't want to do that you just go custom way, so like that. Just run it all the way around. Seventy-seven. How much was the automatic placement? About the same height. Seventy-seven. Yeah, I'd recommend. <laughs> That's seventy-seven versus one hundred and six. So, consider going your own personal placement. Now, if you want a tip for keeping the logs the way you want them, probably go try it a couple of ways. Doesn't always cost the same amount each way you go. And doing it this way might be cheaper. Obviously, as you see, the Logs are shrinking to a certain point. Uh, 77. Um, but that looks quite 
Nice. Build that. Hopefully that blocks out the rain. There we go. Nice and cosy. Uh, other things you can do. You could put like a stick fence here. Don't go automatic or go all the way around. You'll have to clear it all. So like that. And we'll do another one on the other side. Like that. And we could put some nice lights. Uh, you're going to the outside? Yeah, we'll go to the outside. So, if we go jump out, we'll climb up to our brand new place. Climb this little bit. You always get the goodies that respawn here every time you reload. Like tennis balls. Oh, lovely. And there's the entrance, and you're done. And you have a zip line, which I'll quickly complete because I'll show you that it does work and it has a good idea. Only issue is I think mutants can destroy them, so yeah. And if you want it to bring logs in, you're gonna you'll probably want to bring it in a little bit more, but I'm not sure. If you might be close enough that the logs will register and the logs will fly through it rather than clump up. Depends how close you are. With my zipline method for the log catcher, I cut the floor underneath it because they pile up otherwise. Okay, and this is a problem. I built the roof first. So there you go. There's an easy way around that. You just cut a section out of the roof. But I will test the other rope to see if we can get up. This is a great thing as well, is that you've got a base in the sky and you can use climbing ropes to get it. Now you want to be careful doing this sort of thing it's only because if I came up underneath it, it could fling me into the air. There's no issue there right at this stage. Just keep it in mind. If you get flung in the air, just land in the water. Uh, See, so you could just do this. Yes, yeah, so make sure you do the zip line first before you put the roof on this one. And this is the base that I furnished. And his zip line into it works well. Yes, you could decorate it however you want. And I tested it, you can fit pretty much everything you need in here. So, it is pretty good. And I cut a hole in the roof to test what it was like, and it wasn't that great. Might be a case of two stories for better options. Now this is an issue you might come across, and don't make the same mistake as me. Don't land on the roof. It happened because I was pushing up against the wall. Now I'm not sure how the pillar system works, which pillar holds up your house, but this one didn't work for me. Though I built it again, and at the other location near the crocodile huts, uh, it's much more difficult there, the roads don't work too well. And it didn't collapse, so I'm not sure what causes these things to collapse. If you want to play with building destruction on, just build a few water collectors around it. That way they can't get to it. If they ever glitch into the water and survive, they can't destroy the pillar. Now, as I said, I've tested this quite a few times. I recommend that you do it the way I've done it. Try and follow my guide as precisely as you can. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of headaches. And trust me, I had a lot of headaches trying to get this to work. But if you need any further help or you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I should get back to you. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.